good afternoon children welcome to your chemistry online practical session our next experiment is chromatography experiment in that we have to do two experiments the first of all what do you mean by chromatography chromatography is a technique for the separation of components there are several types of chromatographic techniques are there uh, such as adsorption chromatography, column chromatography, thin layer chromatography. Here we are using paper chromatography because uh, we are using the stationary phase as paper. There are a stationary phase and mobile phase. So the stationary phase is in paper chromatography is a paper so it is known as paper chromatography. So we will see the technique of paper chromatography so it's a partition chromatography technique so the special adsorbent paper is used instead of column so the mixture which we have to be analyzed put as a drop as a spot in that and the paper is placed in a container with a suitable solvent vertically and which dips in the solvent and the spot remains slightly above the solvent level then the solvent will rise up the paper due to capillary rise the action here is capillary rise so you can see this experiment in the or labs one so you can you will get a detailed idea about this by seeing the experiment i will give the the article part of the experiment so this is the experiment setup of the paper chromatography here you can see um, a paper which is the stationary phase here the solvent which is the mobile phase so we'll put a drop here first then i will dip its it the it in the solvent so the solvent will absorb on this and it will move this is the experiment setup so after some time uh, if we are putting a component which we have to separate out for some time it will separate out like this with, with different 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 layers you can see after some time different different spots of whatever you want to separate maybe it may be uh, colored components of leaves for you uh, the separation of colored uh, pigments from leaves and another one is separation of inks from mixture of ink so after some time you will get some spots like this so from that we have to calculate the RF value RF value is used to identify the component so it helps in many many um, scientific techniques scientists are used these techniques um, for identifying unknown substances and the separation of components from the mixture so it is a highly used technique so based on RF value scientists are identifying which component is that so it is known as retention factor or retardation factor it is the ratio of the distance moved up or traveled by the component from the origin or point of the application of the distance moved up by the solvent from the same point that is this distance traveled by the solute from the origin line divided by distance traveled by the solvent from the origin line so here you can see after some time different different spots so for example rf value of substance a b z will be given under rf value for a that is distance traveled by a that is small letter a and this is traveled by the solvent that is totally that is x in the x a, this uh, so, sub solute a traveled a distance for b it is b by x for c it is c by x this is the uh, basic idea about chromatography technique so it is very easy the experiment setup and all you can see by um, you can see by the uh, so you can see in the OLAB video 
and uh, different substances will process different RF value depends upon several factors such as nature of the substance, nature of the solvent, temperature, presence of impurities, qualities of the filter paper, etc. So, um, we'll see our experiment. 